chestnut backed owlet, a beautiful and cute looking bird endemic to Sri Lanka. This video includes all you need to know about this little fella. Usually, owls are nocturnal, but this species is diurnal, frequently seen in the daytime, especially in the evening. Out of all 10 resident owl species, here in Sri Lanka, only two species are endemic. The other one is recently described Serendib scops owl. So this bird is very famous among the bird photographers. It belongs to the family Strigidae, which contains a large number of much smaller owls. Other member of that family lives in the dry zone forests and it's the jungle owlet. The chestnut-backed owlet is similar looking with this species and also formally considered to be a subspecies of the jungle owlet. This bird is small and stocky, measuring 19 centimeters in length. Its size, shape and appearance is very similar to the jungle owlet but upper parts, scapulas and wing coverts of the chestnut-backed owlet are mainly chestnut brown with dark barring. It has big yellow eyes. The facial disc is mainly brown, has a white neckband and has no sexual dimorphism. This bird is a common resident bird in the wet zone forests of Sri Lanka, such as Kitulgala, Singharaja and Khanali. But not that easy to spot. According to the historical reports, this bird had a wide distribution in the southern part of the country, from the hills to lowland rainforests. Also in the outskirts of Colombo, this bird has been recorded. But by the time the distribution area has shrunk greatly and now it's found sparingly in the remaining lowland red zone rainforests and the adjoining hills up to 6,500 feet above the sea level. Even though it is a quite common species, it's hard to spot. Hiding among the leaves and branches, it makes itself almost invisible. It frequent tops of tall trees, usually on steep hillsides and hence is often missed. So how can you find one? The easiest way is to listen carefully. You may hear its call. Many bird watchers use this trick. It has a short series of far carrying crow crow call with four to nine notes per phrase. The call carries for a long distance. Sometimes other small birds try to mob when it is perched. So it is another way to find it. Look for showers up in the trees. Its flight is deeply undulating. Like the other small owls, it feeds mainly on insects such as beetles but also prefers mice, small lizards and small birds mostly when the young are being fed. It nests in a hole of a tree and lays two eggs. This little bird is a very important species and must be protected. To do so, the rainforests must be preserved where it can breed and protect their young. 